Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel yeah. that we never post on. So basically we were gonna post Jesse's IVF journey on YouTube and then I don't know what happened. We just, there was so much going on. Yeah. We're really bad at posting YouTube videos, but we wanted to take you guys along with us for the rest of the journey, the potential pregnancy for the embryo transfer. So we think that we were just overdue for a little bit of a life update, yeah. right? There's a lot going on, so there's a lot to update you. Yeah, he left off with Jesse's embryo transfer. So I don't know if you guys have been following along. So basically since then, Jesse had, wait, we left off with Jesse's egg retrieval. So in August this year, this past year, Jesse got his egg retrieval. He got nine eggs. Five of them were turned into embryos and three of them were sent off to PGT testing. And that is basically testing to make sure the embryo is healthy and is transferable. We got extremely lucky. The three we sent off all came back transferable, which is so rare. It's like unheard of. Unheard of. We for sure thought that he was gonna have to do another know. round of the IVF, which is another 15 days of shots, another egg retrieval, etc. So we got really lucky he didn't have to do that. And then in September, I did my egg retrieval. So I got like 75 eggs because I have PCOS. The bad part about PCOS is that you have a lot of eggs, but they're not the best quality. So only, I think we saved 11 that are frozen for potential donation in the future. But other than that, I think we sent off 18 to testing or 25 to testing, 18 came back good. And then out of the 18 embryos, only eight came back transferable. So I have eight and he has three. Right now I'm on hormones to prepare my body for the embryo transfer. So I have to do uh, eight days of estrogen shots. And tomorrow we're going into the clinic to make sure that my uterus is developing as it should be. Bombastic side eye. You basically want a really thick uterine lining so the embryo can go in and stick and stay and develop into a pregnancy. We um, actually just moved into a new rental, a huge, very nice, but a full house. Like we could live here and yeah. be happy. Like it's so nice yeah. and beautiful. We so. wanted to be somewhere more comfortable for embryo transfer and we wanted to, just even filming content, it was really hard in the other yeah. space because it was so small. So we moved here. So hopefully we're not here for too much longer, but we have no idea what's going on with the renovation. It's basically at a standstill. Yeah. If you guys have been watching my TikToks, you know my contractor is kind of out there. So the house hasn't been touched in a few months. So hopefully it can start getting moved along on the process and we can be out of here in a few months and into there. If I'm pregnant, I would love to be in the new house and not yeah. in a rental. So I can get cozy, get the nursery ready. If she does get pregnant, she's gonna start nesting. And when you're nesting, you like, you want your space to be like your sanctuary and it's so important to you and like, you like creating the nursery becomes like the only thing you can think about. It's weird, it's like biological. So it's gonna be way better, obviously, if we're in like our forever home or like forever home, you know, the next what, 10 years. 10 years. Um, so that's that's important. I'm quickly interrupting the little life update because I wanted to tell you guys about one of my favorite things ever. We have the Lilo Sona 2 Travel and I am giving this to Jesse for Valentine's Day, but it's a present for him for me. So it's not really for him, it's more for me, but I'm gonna give it to him for me. <laughs> it's the Lalo Sona 2 Travel, which is literally the perfect size for traveling. You guys know I'm always on the go, so I literally bring this everywhere with me. Use my code FAIRGO5 for an extra 5% off Valentine's Day sales and discounts. It is powerful, but so discreet, and it's compact for those looking to unlock new pleasures and heights while they are on the go. I know it's small and you wouldn't think, but it literally has 12 different settings. You can explore each setting and figure out which one you like the most. It combines sonic weight waves and gentle pulses for the ultimate experience. You wouldn't expect it, but it is insane. It's made from medical grade silicone and it's fully waterproof. So anywhere you go, it'll work. Orgasms are so good for your mental health and your physical health. They help you relax. They help you just enjoy life better and they make the connection between you and your partner so much stronger. Celebrate, love this Valentine's Day by either reconnecting with yourself or reconnecting with your partner because you don't need a man to pleasure yourself you can just use the Lalo too. I love anything from the brand Lalo. I have like maybe 15 of their products and every single one is so individual and so unique. And I specifically love this one because the sonic waves that it produces are just unlike no other. And the fact that it's so compact, I can hide it anywhere and I don't have to worry about anyone accidentally seeing it or finding it. It's perfect to spice up any dates on Valentine's Day. And I'm actually gonna put together a Valentine's Day basket for Jesse and throw this in the basket. 
I also got the personal moisture water-based formula and this is unreal. And I feel like it's definitely important to have a lube that is water-based because they can be really sticky. This combined with this is all you need for Valentine's Day this year. So yeah, everything's gonna be in the description below and make sure to use my code FAIRGO5 for 5% off, including 5% off all the Valentine's Day sales and discounts that Lelo is having on right now. And make sure you get yourself or your partner one for Valentine's Day. Back to the video. Little Arlo update. Um, some of you know that Arlo has been homeschooled for a really long time. A lot of people always ask who's Arlo, but obviously if you're here, you know who Arlo is. But in case you don't, Arlo is Jesse's 15 year old from 15 years ago. Previous and they're my stepchild as well. So if you don't know who Arlo is, Arlo is our 15 year old. If you don't know that, you're Yeah, really if you don't know that, I'm not sure. <laughs> Arlo's been homeschooled for a really long time and we're trying to get them to have, you know, somewhat of a high school experience. So they actually are in the process, process of applying to an art school. We thought that would better fit them. They're very artistic. They paint, they write. They love music. This high school focuses on that. If they get in, it's gonna kind of change their whole life around. They're gonna be going to, it's almost like a college, but for mm -hmm. high schoolers. Mm -hmm. By the time we have a newborn, they're gonna to wanna to be out of the house more because the baby's just gonna be crying all day. So they're gonna be like, I they're wanna be, go. Thank God I'm going to school yeah. right now. So one thing about the embryo transfer, basically we have to decide which embryo that we're transferring. When you transfer an embryo, you basically transfer your highest grade embryo, which is your best embryo. And for us, our best embryo, we have two that are equal. One is male and one is female. So they are fully equal. We could leave it up to the doctor. The doctor is basically saying, I usually just put in the best and the best for you is both, they're, yeah. they're equal. You know, it's weird because obviously I'm a trans man and you know, we're a queer family. We don't care, you know, what the sex is, but at the same time, like we're, it's kind of in our hands, like yeah. without us really even necessarily wanting that. We'd love either or, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's a decision that fell into our hands and now we don't know what to do. So. Little things like I would love to like raise just the most amazing men to be like amazing men in this world. And I would love to raise women to be extremely powerful. And you know, there's things like that that I think of, but at the end of the day, we just want a healthy baby. <laughs> and then there's also the option where she could choose and surprise me, yeah, which is a possibility. I could decide and do a little sex reveal for you. I understand that our child could discover who they are later on in life. Probably gonna be the most accepting parents yeah. in the world. Knowing um, us, we're both queer. One of our kids is gonna be queer. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just written in the gods. Like, one of them is gonna be gay. Put it right in yeah, the family. Right. <laughs> the smartest thing you can do as a parent is raise them as the, you know, gender they are assigned at birth, like according to their sex, and then give them the space and love and freedom to discover if it's different later on. I think the best thing you can do is basically how I raised Arlo, which was like blank slate parenting, where I never forced gender norms onto Arlo. For little, I used she, her, and obviously considered them female. And then as they grew up and they discovered that within themselves, they told me one day, I wanna go by they, them, and that was it, and mm -hmm. never looked back. Yeah. Is it she in her mother era? Look at my little motherly sweater. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mother sweater. I think that's all the updates that we got for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. If you want to see anything else from us, yeah, make sure you follow us on TikTok because that's where we post the bulk of our content. Mm -hmm. Not even Instagram, it's always, um, life stuff is all on TikTok. I've been vlogging almost every day of this embryo transfer, so make sure you follow me along there. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.